You know, I love you, but sometimes I just wish you'd work a bit better with me. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna go to counseling. We're gonna find some new ways to communicate. I'm gonna hit you with a goddamn hammer. So in the beginning here, I didn't do a very good job actually recording anything. Actually, there's a few bits of video here that have seemed to have gone missing, including the LED lights I put in. But basically what we're going to be doing today is putting an American flag headliner in my truck. Right now I was working on getting the trim and the seat out so that I could actually get to the headliner. So I got all the seat bolts out of this driver's side seat. Now it is going to be a bit harder to get out because of this steering wheel in the way, but it's pretty much a matter of lift and pull. So, oh, got it. Oh, there, okay, so one thing you always gotta think about is there electronics to your seat. Like in this instance, there is electronics to the um, seat belt thing for your seat belt thing that's always annoying you. So make sure to unplug that before you, you know, rip it out. Okay, so interesting find with this seat. It's very jerry-rigged together. That's a piece of trim for a door or something. And that's, I'm pretty sure that's just scrap wood. So I'm not really sure I want to know what happened with this seat. But something happened, apparently. I cannot believe that. I have never seen that before console seat out while I'm here so that I can just straight up vacuum everything and make it nice because I've already got all the bolts out the same bolts hold this seat in as the other two seats so check that out bougie like natties oh. hey I got it let's go so if you're trying to get out the headliner and you've got this handle and you're wondering, wait, what, what, where's the screw? So you take a flat blade screwdriver to this and pop it out like so on both sides and the headline and the handle should come out, at least on these older trucks. Um, actually, there might be a screw back there. So let's see. Oh, no, nope, there's no screws back there. You just got to kind of yank. It's a very, uh, very precise method, but it works. And we've kind of got a mess on our hands. We've got a bunch of wires that we don't really know what go to. We've got a mess of a speaker. No wonder the speakers in this truck don't work very well. Pretty sure the black back glass is starting to fall out over here, too. But overall, we've got a good thing going here. I'm going to have to vacuum everything super good because it's a complete mess. But... Overall, taking out the seats and doing all this stuff was a good thing because it'll be going back together nicer than what it was right now. Okay, I think I got everything out of the headliner here. I'm gonna pull on it and see what happens. Oh, oh. Okay, what's going on over here? Oh, that, that, that did it. If it doesn't work, just hit it. That, that's my strategy. Oh, yeah. So now the next step in this headliner process. Oh, this is actually a really nice gray. Okay, so I need to get these two things out, which actually should be pretty easy, and this handle. So, actually, it is really easy. Just kind of pull on it. There's these two tabs on the back, and it's out. So now, do that for the other side. Pull that out. Bam. Make sure do not lose these. So, I don't exactly have an ironing board, right? But I do have the hood of my truck. And I need to iron this flag. So, I mean, it might work, it might burn my truck to the ground. I mean, who's really to say? But we're gonna try it.
right? Now, there isn't, it isn't gonna cover the entire thing. Like up here, there's gonna be some overhang and uh, it won't be perfect because I don't have a big enough flag. Um, it honestly needs to be bigger six inches on either side, but it is what it is. We're gonna work with it. Um, now that we've got the layout of where the stars are gonna be, I'm gonna take it off and take some spray adhesive and spray this down and kind of let it set because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this here iron, put the glue down and then put the flag where I want after the glue is dry and then the iron is gonna heat the glue back up and set the flag where I want it. So I'm gonna go find the spray adhesive. dry here it got cold outside it's night so I had to put the gloves back on and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to put my coat on too but glue is dry so it is time to start putting the headliner on the American flag so this is the driver's side because these are where the visors were so the stars part of the flag needs to be back up here so I'm gonna work on laying the flag out which is exactly what I want. This is going extremely well. Okay, so one thing that I am sad about with this flag thing is I am gonna have to cut couple of holes in it for the hooks to go back in, for the dome light to go back in, and for the visors to go back in. But since it's going to be displayed and you're not going to see the stuff, I'm not totally worried about it. This is going to hurt my heart a little bit. I have to take the scissors out. All right, I think I've gotten it to the point I'm happy with. I can pick it up and move it around and it's not going anywhere. So now I need to start cutting holes in where all the stuff's gonna go. This part's gonna hurt my heart a little bit. I might not have a knife, but I've got scissors and flat blade screwdrivers. What else does the guy need? Time to put the headliner back in the truck. All right, so I got the trim pieces back in the truck and it covers the edge of the headliner pretty well. Got this last piece in. Now I can get the seats and put them back in. And we'll be pretty much done. I need to fix this dome light because that's kind of falling out, but hey, minor details. All right, so the new headliner is done on my truck. Now, it didn't turn out as well as I wanted to. There's some issues with it, but overall for my first thing and for what it is, it turned out pretty good. And I also put the LED lights in. Those look awesome. You can't really see them very well in daylight, but they look awesome at night. And yeah, so that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all those YouTube things, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.